to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question I'm bringing you is, how can you extract a few fields from the given JSON object and form a new array? Now, this is something, this use case is something that you will require on a day-to-day -day basis when you're working in your applications. Most likely, you will be making an HTTP call, you would get a JSON object or a response. And then, in terms of manipulating or writing your logic in your application, you might want to extract few fields from that JSON object, array of objects. So let's go ahead and see how to solve this issue because trust me, this is something that you will definitely need when you're working in your real-time applications. Let's get started. This is question number 18. Before we get started, I'll request you to check out my ebook which I've authored on JavaScript top 100 code snippets that every developer must know. These coding snippets will help you become a better developer as well as crack any front-end developer role interview that you're attending. Check out the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you in advance. All right, so the question is, how can you extract few fields from a given JSON object and form a new array? Right. So the trick here is whenever we get an array of um, objects or a JSON object, we need to use map method and then we will return only what is required key from that particular element. Right. Th that's the high level logic using map method. Let's go ahead and see that in hands on exercise. So first I'm going to define a quick input. So I'm going to call it say students. Right. Or you can you can give any uh, object that you would like. Now in this, um, let's say this I'm calling as input object. And here I have a key by the name students. And now let's say this is an array. All right. And let's make it an array. And inside this, I'm going to have a few objects like this. Like so list of students basically. And let's say we want to extract name from them. So I'm going to say name. Let's say arc tutorials and say id as 10 so this is one object now quickly i'll copy paste so we don't waste time okay so here i'm going to add one more and here i'm going to add okay so let's just give some name and ids so essentially the point is we have a json object which has a key inside it and which is a array right and then we have some array objects inside it elements and now we need to extract them so how can we do that so like i said we need to use map method so let's go ahead and write that now so i'm going to say uh, right and so, oh but let's first define the script tag so it knows that it is javascript script okay and close it here so now i'm going to say const now I'm going to say, say here now we are going to say input dot students dot map. So what we are doing inside this object, I have another key by the name students, which is an array of elements and I'm using the map method on the array object, right? So these are all the elements inside this students array. Now, now this is the trick here. So I can say each item and what do we want to do with them? We want to return it. So, oh, okay, it's a function. So I can just define. And then I'm going to say return item dot. Now you see here automatically it is showing us that there are two things that we can return. Let's say I want to return the name, right? Now, if you do a console log, you should see that output. And let's see here and the output and open your console per tools and then in the console you can see we are returning an array which is the names so this is the trick here that anything that you want to return let's say you might want to get a bigger one sometimes you will see that you will have a big object okay in real time applications you will have a heavy objects and you might want to extract only few fields so this the trick applies to the same okay so now what you can do is here you can create an object first say it's 
j right and you can say name and then say item dot name comma email and item dot email and then make sure that you return the updated one okay so now we are extracting name and email right so this is the most likely use case you would see in most of the um, requirements when you're working on a real-time project that you will be given a very huge uh, object and then you are expected to extract only few fields from it so now you know how to do that for that we need to use array map method and then loop and write a function inside it create our object that we want to return with only few um, fields you can also manipulate them let's say for example you want to add uh, you want to concatenate name dot say ID right so that also you can do so basically you can manipulate anything and then return an object so you see here value is getting added so that's basically how you do extracting few fields from any given particular JSON object which is an array right all right so that's was for today's uh, episode thank you so much for joining I hope you are enjoying this series please don't forget to get the ebook for more such JavaScript coding questions which will make you a better developer. You can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.